G'day friends, welcome back to Tetra Time. We are back in here today for day nine, about to get things started here. $50 surname, but in the last episode, we did unlock a lot of cool stuff. So we've got these boxes, which we're about to trial out and see how things go. We've also ripped open a fair few packs and yeah, just got a lot to work on. So we're going to keep going. We've already got people busting through the door, which is really a fantastic thing. So we're going to try and get as much people through as we can these can probably actually come up to 4250 today just because the market has shifted just that little bit and just keep in with how things are going but store's going really well so far we're making some great progress but we've got a lot to work on a lot to work on i could say so yeah we're making upgrades we're doing well and jeepers creepers we've already got some people coming through the door we are on a roll lately. Woo! Not with getting the right things, though. Uh, but we're making some serious money. Like, just that in itself is 126 bucks. They have proven to be a fantastic investment already. It's pretty much, yeah, cost price. Of, yeah, it's fantastic. I don't even know what to say. We're doing really well. We need to make sure we keep some basic stuff in here as well because not everyone's going to want to buy... All the real expensive stuff. There's definitely a plenty to do. I'm going to move these sleeves. I can only do one at a time. Really? Really? Move them down there so we can make room for something else. These dies are gross. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, but the rest of it, we need more of these packs. We need some, yeah, just different things. We need to start upgrading. We need to get some other stuff. We need to pay our bills as well. We'll pay the electric bill right now, but we'll also grab... Let's grab another one of these packs here. Get these basic boosters. Get them in. And start filling. Uh, no space. Okay. Oh, I probably should have opened them and started fresh, but we'll have four left over so we can do that. Uh, but I do want to open some cards in this one for sure, because we ended up the last episode getting some really great pulls. And uh, that's definitely something I want to continue to do in this one. Actually, we do have... The one, uh, we have some space. We can quickly put them up here. 60 bucks straight off rip there. It's gonna, we're turning this place around, guys. Started off a little slow, but we are really turning this place around. And I'm not gonna bother with that. Cool, okay. Sorry for wasting your time, my friend. Uh, $3 in change for you. I'm not too far off getting an employee either. I think we're like one level off it. So I'm really looking forward to it. Geez, they're buying some singles, which is good. You should buy some sleeves while you're there. Uh, 44. How much did we get off that? 56. Beautiful. And one card for you. So a $13 card. It's not great. Those two. Cool. We've got 123. We need to pay the bills. I cannot forget to pay the bills, but we've got plenty. Plenty that we want to do. So we've got to get to level 10 to hire him, which is perfectly fine. These different events as well. Maybe we can... Get this one as well. What are we doing? So we've got 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. at Tetra time. I don't even know if this is, I think, oh, it's a current game event. So it's just the, what we have going on here pretty much, which is fine. Not worth the extra fee. We'll leave it at that for now. And yeah, we just got plenty to do once we get some more money rolling in. So, oh my God, take the good one. You're going to take a good one? Anyone going to take a good card? No, not yet. Okay. We're going to probably open some more basics because we did really have some good luck with them at the end of the last one. So I do want to open a couple. Ooh, 62 bucks off the rip straight away. This is really amazing. <laughs> really, really amazing. Good start to it. If we can get a few more of them, I'll be a happy, happy man. Really, really happy man. But yeah, we just... Store's coming along well. I think this might be the last one. I've opened the rest of them. There's just been nothing apart from those couple of good ones at the start. We do really need to get in here and start <laughs> serving some people though. Because we are getting a big backlog. And uh, nine. We get nine dollars a lot actually in change that we have to give. Is that the good one? Nope, it's not. Someone could buy a good card if they like. Uh, stinky spray. That is quite a good money maker to be honest. There's just so many different upgrades we can make and it's just so much that I want to want to do and work towards. If you want me to make these episodes a little bit longer or cut out more or whatever, just let me know down in the comments below. And if you are enjoying the series or any of the other videos that I do, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Only 2% of people that watch the channel are actually subscribed. 
which does kind of suck just a little bit. <laughs> but I do appreciate every one of you that are. So we've got that one to pay as well. That hurts because that's pretty much all their money. <laughs> so what do we got to do? Actually, I'll put them back. Get this listed up because people might buy the good cards while we're here. Yeah, big brain. Big brain operation here. Oh, God, that's tiny. Gross. Ugh. Ugh. Well, I open a couple more of these and then we'll do some rare cards on the next one there. But, yeah, I think probably hmm, once we get an employee, we're going to do an entire episode just opening cards and seeing exactly what we get. So that should be pretty fun. I do want to definitely get the epic pack at some point too. $13 card, not too great. Uh, so three more levels time, we'll be able to get an even better card pack. So we should be able to get some better pulls too. But we get some good ones out of these. We just yet to see many of them. We did pull a five hundred dollar card not too long ago, but uh, I want to see some. I want to see some hundreds. I really want to see that. So it's the only way that I can really think to really push up our income a lot more while we're waiting for people to buy stuff. Might as well open up the cards and just get some money flowing through that door. Although we're not doing a very good job of it so far, but we go. Uh, he's probably getting deterred from coming in because he's stinky lady. Go away. Everyone else smell nice. If you're coming in here, we need to hire someone that could just stand at the door and just spray people. I think that would be quite a good way to do it. Uh, I was going to buy some stuff, but of course, got no money. These die. They are the absolute death of me. No one wants them. I kind of just want to clear them out. Let's just. Mm, they're taking up a space on the shelf that I don't want. So. I could sell them for market price, but it's just too, it's too much. It's just too much. Ugh. All right. Did you take a good card? 62 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. He got one of the good ones and 12 bucks for you. Thank you very much. You're helping me and nothing too great there, but it's decent. Done, done and done. And what are you getting my friend? Really? Five sleeves. That's okay. That is okay. $1 change for you and what do we got? 139. We need to get more boosters as well. The basic card packs. Um, we can get two of them. We might as well just keep pushing it along. Just, <laughs> just get ourselves in debt. Why not? And that way we don't have to keep on pushing along as we go. The one thing about having the roundup though is that we don't get to market these at the lowest price. And it's something that I kind of want to do. I don't mind dealing with the change too much. Oh, we've got stuff in the box. Really? Cool. Okay. Not anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking of faffing around with the change a bit. We are still selling plenty though. And financially, we're doing okay. So I'm reluctant to change much just based on the amount of people getting through the door. So we'll leave it as it is for now. Uh, $2 in change. Oh, we've got heaps of people coming through the door now. What's going on? Yeah, you are $18. I wish everyone paid by car. That would make life so much easier oh hello these sleeves i'm telling you guys they are a money maker they might not be worth much each but god you can make some money on them so it's 92 dollars just in sleeves and 40 am i blind i am blind oh my god dude how much do you want to buy cheapest creepers 87 dollars worth of a sale that's good. This guy, hopefully, is going to come buy some stuff because he's just in absolute, complete and utter despair, <laughs> which isn't good for him. We're doing okay. Okay, so we are looking at probably getting some more sleeves. We'll grab some more of them. Yeah, 40. Mm, yeah, we'll grab one box of them for now. I don't want to go too much. Do need another thing of cleanser. And I want to see some of this stuff here. What is the deck boxes in that? What's all this? $200 for the license for that. And then they're $185 for 16 of them. I kind of really want to try them out and see what they are. I have no idea what they are. So we're going to save up about 200 bucks and we're going to try and sell them. I don't know if they're worth anything, but we might as well. But I feel like I'm getting a bit off track. I feel, I just feel like I'm not doing too well. So I feel like I'm just buying stuff as soon as I can. Shiny objects, syndrome, whatever. Don't know. It's just who I am, okay? I like the shiny things. Put them in there. Hello, sir. Two. That's all you want. It's only six bucks, man. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good luck. He's going to try his luck at the table. Okay, we need to open some more cards. Um. Oh, my God. We're pretty much sold out. 13 bucks isn't terrible. 
It's not an awful thing. 539, okay. That is terrible though. That is not good. Okay, and we're about to actually hit level nine as well, which is really cool. He's buying one of those there and then he's gonna get some other stuff too. Hopefully some boosters, yeah, well, there you go. He's got some basic card packs and that one there, my little turnip, that one, and a $69 sale. Cool, we should be able to buy after this sale, that thing we're after, which would be pretty cool. Uh, 166, so we're not quite there yet. And we'll open, oh, we can't open them, can we? No. We'll open some more of the rare packs, see if we can really sort of get something game-breaking, some groundbreaking new stuff for us would be, would be really nice, but I just don't really see it happening. My luck with this stuff isn't fantastic. There are some really cool looking cards. The only problem is they're just not worth anything. <laughs> I'd love to see the value. I wonder if you can actually see, I might check the value of our actual deck, like our collection as a wholesale lot, because it'd be got to be a couple thousand. It'd have to be. Surely it would be. Can we check? Total value, $596.59. All pretty much made out of one and two cent pieces. Okay, so we got the sleeves here. Chuck them in there as well and keep things running. I'm telling you guys, they only sell for $1.80, but do not sleep on them. These things just make me so much goddamn money, I think. The margin is pretty low, but I think they're pretty much a double up. But they're such a great add-on. You make $1.32, they cost 48 cents, and you just, ah, oh, it just, they make me happy, okay? They're probably my favorite thing to sell in this whole thing. Most boring thing, but they're my favorite thing in the whole lot. So, we can finally afford that thing. I don't remember what it was, just an accessory. Hopefully, they sell better than dice, because dice just do not sell. It's a bit of a, bit of a calculated risk, I think, buying these ones. But we'll see. We will see what they're worth, and we will shut up in a minute. We might chuck these, um, I guess up here with the other useless collectibles. <laughs> That's probably the best way to do it. Uh, get rid of that. Put that there. What are they worth? So we make $7.65 off them. That's decent. Okay. That's decent. We'll sell them just under market. It's okay. Spend 12 to make seven. If they sell consistently, I'm okay with it. How'd we go for the day? I don't think we did that great, to be honest. They're sitting at $1,000. We still did $1,000 a day and we're actually $20 in the green after all the expenses. How good is that? All right, it's a new day. We're getting straight into it. Day 10 here. We are now shop level 10. We can technically buy an employee. I'm not sure that I want to do that right now. It's $500 just to get him in the door. Not too sure that's something I want to do. We can also look towards getting a workbench, which I believe you can use to grab stuff and sell them as a wholesale, which could be a really fantastic investment. Something that I want to do. This guy needs to be sprayed because he reeks. The poor lady got caught in the crossfire there, but it's okay. It's okay. We should probably check market prices. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just going to... Just going to do this. You know how it is. Um, $2.70 for you. And okay, stinker. What can I do for you? Buy some heaps of stuff. Okay. I like him now. Oh, God. He's actually bought them. They're worth a decent i'm out cool okay done for you grab these two boxes 48 okay so yeah honestly if you're considering it guys these here have been game changing and so are these to be fair for everything just for me they've just been absolutely fantastic i cannot stress enough how good they are i'm just going to check the market price of everything it's something that i do every single day and it, it seems to work out pretty well for me, to be honest. It's you never, nothing seems too unfair ever at any stage, which is good. We might be selling just under market price. We're still making some good, decent, proper money as we go. But what I do want to do is I need to buy some more of these ones here. Uh, we can grab, we can grab two. Cool. That'll be good. So yeah, it's just the every day to day stuff, you know, it just never changes. Just keep on moseying along, doing what we need to do and just keep that money rolling on in. But things are looking up. Things are certainly looking up for us. And I don't want to look too messy and out of place. Like I said, I've got to do something, but we might keep this as a little personal shelf here. We'll keep that as 22 cards for us to open ourselves. 
These have a good profit margin as well. Uh, they have 50. Done and done. Okay, let's go open some stuff. It can really, really help us out if we can get some good pulls. I'll be very, very pleased because we need some cards to sell. We're doing all right with boxes, but if we can put ourselves to that next level, I'll be a happy man. $78.70 on that one card there. Perfect. What a gorgeous looking card. Woo, okay. It's not what I would have thought it would have been super expensive, but I'm okay with it. Sorry if I skipped past it a little bit quick, but that's okay. But while we're looking at these cards, guys, I just want to take the time to say, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you are subscribed. Of less than 2% of people on the channel actually subscribe so it'll definitely help me out and keep me encouraged to keep making more awesome videos like this i would really really appreciate it but this guy just wants deodorant dude go to a service station if you want deodorant i mean i'll take your money but there's better places to go than a place full of stinky people these things actually look like they're doing all right to be fair i'm thinking those boxes might not be a terrible little investment they're, they're pretty damn good so we need to over oh, actually we might get that big expensive card up in here what we can 80 bucks is good have we actually had him before apparently so apparently so okay that's cool uh, actually no you need to go around it uh, round it up do you not market price eh. yeah i don't know actually i'm thinking what we might do because we are taking a haircut and everything i know it's annoying but we might just set everything at market to be honest, that can stay. They can stay. I think these are the ones that I want to set up market because I just want to sell in the volume. I just want to sell the volume of stuff. You can flame me in the comments if you think I'm being dumb. And I might be stuffing up a little bit with how uh, much more it's going to annoy the crap out of me having to do change and stuff. But I just think it's probably worthwhile doing. Setting things at market might be good. Oh, this guy has some hopes that he's going to get some good stuff. Mate, I hope for your sake you do. I don't really have high hopes that you will. But he's going to soon find out he's heading to the play table, which is fantastic. Have a look there. Fee and that. People charge $7 an hour. That's fine. We do have a few game modes now that we can do. But it's going to cost us 70 bucks a day. And you get $10 an hour, but I'm just not sure that it's something that I want to do right now. Just that extra $3. three dollars just not entirely convinced that it's worthwhile. Uh, come on, quick. I don't like going and opening cards myself. Oh my god, it's an $88 sale. Did they buy that? Oh, he bought that. she bought that good one. Hell yeah. I don't like running away when people need to be served. It's just not, it's not good. Which will be good when we can get an employee, but I'm reluctant to hire him because I've heard that he is complete and utter crap, to be honest. These two, these boxes are selling well. I'm impressed. 50 and 4. See, it's slightly annoying, but it's not the end of the world. It does the job. So, we have to get 15 to get him. So, yeah, it's, it's annoying because checkout's where I need him. I don't need him for anything else. I just need him for the checkout. It's going to be extremely painful, but I don't know. Might be something that I have to do. Probably need to get more normal cards as well. Could probably get a couple more of those boxes. And actually, what I do want to see is I want to try and test out that plushie. I don't know. I feel like I just I need to stop experimenting with stuff and start making some proper upgrades. I don't know, but I feel like upgrading could be good. I don't know. Let me know what you guys would do down in the comments below. I feel like, I don't know, hearing your ideas, ideas might help me out just that little bit as what I should do. So I want to get more of these ones. All right, then I'll grab one of these boxes. Maybe grab, I'll grab another one of these and maybe one of them as well. Might as well. We can't get any of them yet. We're still sort of stuffed at what we're going to be able to get. Don't really have a whole lot of potential. These different ones here with the Tetramon license, I feel like they could be quite a good little add-on. The clear ones do sell really well. I just don't know. There's just heaps of different stuff here. Deck boxes, all that. There's just not a whole lot extra. A play mat would be cool, but I just I don't know how much I want to experiment with right now. Just don't feel like we're really in that thing. I wouldn't mind getting another play table. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe the employee would be a good next step. And we'll get... You can just... You know what? You can have 25 cents for free. Why not? Make things nice and easy for you. And come here. Please. So I can restock. 
What a bargain. Yeah, I know. But see how the volume goes up as soon as we start to... As soon as we start to go and put things at market price. It just goes well. We end up making more money that way. I don't know. I believe. I believe it. I'll roll with it. And two and two. That works well. I have these ones here, which do need to be refilled. I'll just fill up these bottom shelves, because why not? Make things nice and even, I guess. <laughs> Make things look a little nicer. And then, see, you got up there, the top left corner, you can see. We're able to uh, go and... Ooh. What am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Yeah. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm rambling. That's one thing we do need to buy. We need to buy more smelly spray, because for some reason, everyone's feeling stinky today. And uh, we're needing to buy more. We're needing to buy more. It's a it's a matter of emergency. Uh, <laughs> we need to make sure we keep all of everyone clean because no one wants to. No one wants the stinkies. And oh oh, I overestimated how many of these we were selling. Whoops. Um, there's our personal shelf we had. Maybe we'll need to keep another personal shelf. Um, and then wait, we'll do this. Why don't we just grab that, put that there, and stack these up as well. We need to probably start moving more of them though, because we just don't seem to sell that many. But these boxes are great. Look at that. Just there. 57 bucks. Does not get much better. One, two, three. Done and done. Let's start cracking some packs, because uh, I feel like it's a, it's, a, it's a noble cause. We need to start getting into some here. We need some more singles for the table. We just... We're not having a whole lot of luck. Really, really not. We're getting a lot of like $7 cards in that, so it is boosting the value of the entire collection we have, but just nothing that's actually worthwhile selling, which is the part that's really getting to me the most. Not being able to actually put them up, it's just, it's really doing my head in. So maybe we even save up for that workbench and see if that's something that we can look at shimmying off into the corner there. Mind you, I'm taking the words of people online. I do not know if the workbench actually allows sale of bulk cards. But we're going to roll with it and try anyway. It was good. We've got full lots of playing tables. That's really good. We're getting some good cash flow through there as well. People are looking for cards. We just don't have anything worth selling. We really don't. What do we got? Like $9 cards. It's just, it's not good. <laughs> it's not well. So I do want to definitely see what we can do in terms of getting that workbench thing i think we might just try and save for a while but i think the only option is really and i know the day and the episode's coming to an end but we just need to try and rip some valuable cards because if we got like a 700 dollars card here we'd be able to do that and our game would be changed forever 35 five dollar card not bad at all that's that's actually okay but we just need to really get into it 21 okay see all that stuff helps all that stuff helps. It's it's pretty much pure profit because we spend bugger all on these card packs. But we can make a hell of a lot more out of it. And I just, I would like to pull some more good ones though. How much was that? Oh, I didn't even pay attention then. I wasn't even looking. 20 something though, I think. 30 maybe. I don't know. But this is a good little run. We've got three really good cards so far really good by our normal standards anyway so if we'll get them up as well we see how much it was it was actually a $45 card here I am not paying any attention at all there market price oops round whoops don't know what I'm doing but all this stuff here it's gonna make a big difference if we can start getting some of them moving out the door that's the only thing round that up as well this guy is gonna buy some more packs which is great finally more of those dice are moving I don't think I'm ever gonna buy them again they have just been absolutely atrocious in terms of selling. They just sell so slow. I don't even know if dice is part of the game. I just, I don't know. I don't know anything about Tetramon. I don't know, but we might as well grab these last four out of this here as well. See how we go. We're sitting at $418, which is great. And I know what we're pushing for in the next episode. We're going to push to get that workbench. And hopefully that's what's going to allow us to be able to sell things in bulk or make some boxes or something like that of all the basic cards because I'm sure they've got used to someone who's done of use to me. $17, $11, all in the one pack and another $8 card. That's a good pack. $39 for the one pack. 
Really, really good stuff. So we've got some good cards up here now. Got some fairly decent singles, which is going to make a big difference going forward. Anything over 10, I'm actually really quite happy with. Can't complain. Put them all at market. And just like that, it's the end of the day. And that also means it's the end of the second day, which means it's the end of the episode. So I hope you do enjoy it, guys. If you did, once again, hit that like and subscribe button. I really would appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys in the very next episode of TCG Card Shop Simulator.